Welcome back to uh, JPC's uh, Critique Part 3, Timer Started. I'm going to say this one more time. Um, I really recommend you go to uh, Cheap Tutor and look at the series, the MRLS series, the um, SAM series, and the Anoset series. And you also might do a uh, advanced search on um, Cheap Talk with the keywords videos by DSH and look for this. There might be some more updated ones there too. But this is stuff that uh, hadn't been documented anywhere else I, that I know of. And uh, I think it's really, those three things are very, very key in just the basic setup of plans and, and drawing them. Um, and I think, uh, you know, a few people use it. Uh, Chief doesn't even like the SAM method, I don't think. But, but I do. And Francois made a uh, post recently, and he said that he uses them. I think it was Fran Francois or... Ashley, and, and they said they use them, and uh, it's, it's a big time saver. So those, I think those are really some key videos to watch. Um, and as I said, I don't think they're documented anywhere else on how, any, the way I use them anyway. So um, uh, let's see what else we could find in this thing that we might do differently. Um, oh, here's something. Um, here, here's something. Look at this. Look at this shower right here. Is that, does that have a hole in it? Is that what that has? And you see, so you see the tile below it? I don't do showers like that. I think there's a video series somewhere on building showers, custom showers, and the way I do it. Uh, because how often do you get these things right out of the box and the shower works perfectly? If that works for you, great. But if you want to make them custom, uh, look, look for the shower videos, shower wall videos. And essentially, the, the, the surround is made with a P molding and uh, this is a, a piece solid. The curve is a piece solid, and then there's a glass wall right here with a glass door, and that's pretty much it. And I just copy that from one plan to the next, and it seems to work out pretty good. Uh, now on on this right here, what I usually do for sinks, I, I don't I get the uh, sinks without fixtures, because in plan view, uh, you're always going to get the symbol for the the. Uh, faucets and stuff like on an electrical plan, but and it gets in the way of the electrical light that's above this. So I put in a separate fixed separate symbol for this right here. So in elevation and in 3D and stuff I can see this. But in plan view, everybody knows there's a sink and a faucet there. But that stuff just kind of clutters things up I think. It's just an opinion. Just an opinion. Uh and here I don't know. I mean uh, you want your backsplash on the side, uh, backsplash on side, always present, I guess. I, I make these out of uh, P solids, uh, P moldings also. Yeah, I guess you get it like this. But but you know, if you want uh, uh, different materials, like like this is tile, and then you got some granite going up here or something. If you use the P moldings, you can really put in different materials. It's, it's a lot more flexible. I like that, and I use that for. I probably overuse it, but uh, that's what I use. Uh, and here's another issue that I see, and that is, see that the floor surfaces are different thicknesses? I, I just make all my floor finishes, you, floor finish, 7 eighths of an inch. This floor finish right here is uh, uh, half inch. I make them all half inch. So I don't have that funny little step right there. They're going to flush it out anyway, right? So why, why go through all that? Just keep it simple, man. See what else we can find in here. I don't know. It's not. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. I don't know how you built these. These are probably piece solids. I don't know if you built these uh, in plan view or in elevation. Well, let's let me see if I can. And this is always a conundrum. It's always easier to do it in plan view, but if you want to have a little bit of a shape on this thing, let me see if I can do it. I, I'll, I'll be able to tell how you built this three. Oh. Nice, you built this in elevation, I think. Is that what you did? Hang on, let me see if I can do this. Maybe you built this. Yeah, you built in that very nice, built in elevation. Now you can kind of do that that kind of fancy stuff if you want. Uh, and and also, and here's another key. What layer did you put this on? You. Oh, nice, framing trellis, okay. You, framing, tr nice, okay, gotcha. Is that yours? 
Um, and what I do here, I, I actually call it, I don't call it framing trellis. I just call it, tre uh, what do I call it? Uh, I think I just call it trellis. I call it trellis one, one point post, and that's the post. And I go framing, I mean, trellis one point one, and that's, that, that would be the, that would be these beams, for, uh, trellis 1.1. 1 .1. The, the first one says that's the first trellis. And over here where you, this is, this is trellis, this would be, these would be trellis, uh, 1. Uh, 2.1. 2 being meaning the second trellis and 1 being it's the lowest member. This would be trellis 2.2 2 is the second trellis and it's the second member. And then if you have other ones on top of that, it'd be trellis 2.3. And the reason for that is if you want to select these things and raise them up or delete them or something, you can turn off all your layers except that one particular layer, group select and delete. And once you have it set up, it's easy to use. But I think you're, uh, let's, let's look at your, um, Let's look at this right here. Ah, sunshades. Okay, so now you're using capital letters for your own layers. I think that's a good idea. Bearing grid. Yeah, nice. Capital letters for your stuff. Uh, chief stuff. False beams, is that yours? That's probably yours, I bet. But I would have made it in capital letters. Just so you, I don't know, it's not important. But. Stone wainscot, that, I bet that's your layer too. I would have made it in capital letters. Why? I don't know. Actually, anyway, there's, there's a thousand ways of doing these things. Text HVAC. Nice. Okay. Oh, let, let's look at your dimensions. Let's, let me check out your dimensions. Ah, nice. Framing, frame, electrical. Uh, maybe these are all standard. Uh, maybe that's standard chief stuff. CAD default one, two, three. Yeah, see, CAD default. Uh, what, what, what I found helpful is when you have CAD default, you have CAD default, and that's, I don't know, whatever it is. That's where everything goes. And then you have CAD default light, CAD default heavy, CAD default HL, which is, uh, or HD, heavy dash lines. And then you get the idea. All your line weights and line styles should be controlled by the layers. It's a lot easier. Very, very rarely do I actually select a line and change that, that line for whatever layer set it's on. Did I start my timer? I think I did. Oh, two and a half minutes. I'm about done anyway. W. Uh, do you have a framing plan? I, I yeah, I'm not going to look for that. H. I, th I think you. Actually, Johnny, I'm, I think you're doing a really nice job. I don't know if you want two different kind of roofs on this thing. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, shadow boards are looking good. Oh, here's another thing. These doors, these come right out of Chief, and I think there's a very limited, limited number. There's a program somewhere called, uh, yes. And uh, I'm going to show you my, where is it? Where is, where's my, pro oh. There it is, right here. Uh, hang on, I, I'm going to show you my whole screen. Yeah, it's called Chief Wear Garage Door Wizard. This is really kind of cool because you can make up your own garage doors uh, with su uh, uh, sunbursts and different panels and stuff. You know, just you want a sunburst there, you want this kind of a sunburst there, and then you want uh, square, no grids down, or th this right here. And you can make your own gra custom garage doors. It's called Chief Wear Garage Door Wizard. I think it costs 25 or $50 by somebody. And uh, it was just uh, I use it just on just about every garage door I do. I mean, if you can do if you get, if you can use the stuff out of cheap, that's great. But I, I think uh, anyway, check out this piece of software. Twenty five or fifty bucks by somebody. I forgot who did it. Back to my own my own little screen. Hang on a second. Uh, cheap Premier. Oh, how'd you do these things? These are walls, I guess. Are those walls? I'm sure they are. Of course they are walls. Yeah, walls. Nice job, man. I mean, it's uh, you're coming along well. I, and you gotta learn. I think you gotta learn to use. What the heck's this? What the f what what the what the f what the what what are you doing, man? Cad lines for the, the washer dryer? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Base cabinet. Throw a base cabinet in there, man. And then and then go to the go to the library and put in a washer and a dryer. Uh, CAD. You don't need CAD for that stuff, man. Uh, CAD lines for that crap. I, make your own symbol for that. Where's where's my where's my library? You can make your own symbol. Uh, do whatever you want. I, I know. Do do whatever you want. Here here's my uh, this is my shelf and pole. I, I it's a symbol I made. And I pull it over like this, and now it kind of reads as, uh, you know, I stick this one in here like this, and boop. And now when you look at it in the overview, you're going to see that stuff. You know what I'm saying? CAD. Ugh. I rarely use CAD. What's this right here? You. Oh, you. Do, that's a soffit. Yeah. I guess... This is this is something interesting you did, Johnny PC. I think you changed the I think you changed the uh, fill of your upper cabinets, and I use a uh, transparent crosshatch. But uh, Phil, what did you use? Oh, use default. Really? Oh, well, you got the defaulted in your whatever. I use an angle crosshatch. You use a crosshatch like that. That's something you and I probably. Picked up from the old school. What's that extra line in there for? Delete. Oh. Oh, well, that's your... Uh... Yeah, see, now you got to give this a fill. you got to... I don't want to... Islands are a little tricky. That doesn't read very well. That's what I'm getting at. That doesn't read very well. You uh, Ship G. Uh, I don't think... There's several ways of doing that, but... It, and you're still working on this. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, and I also I would highly recommend you. Um, well, that's what are you doing, man? It's all flat. What are you doing? Holy camoly, man! What did you do? You got two. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing here. What is this? Oh, this is the way to do that, I think. Just uh, group select uh, that and turn it into a custom countertop. And I, I'm i afraid I know what's going to happen here. And then put a little curve on it like this. There. Now it reads better, right? And and you got to work on these this stuff here. Is that a wall underneath it? Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what you did. Uh, yeah, see, in, instead of doing... Uh, yeah, that's probably the way to do it. Yeah. Oh, e, uh, e, uh, e, uh, uh. Well, that's a, it's one of those cases where you, what's the best way to do it? I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to knock you on that. Um, uh, are these piece solids? Uh, the piece. Oh, it's a uh, interior column. Again, I bet it's probably framed, and so you don't get your framework in there. So I would have built this out of a wall. And by the way, some of these walls are backwards. That wall's backwards. Maybe I made it backwards, but some of your, I noticed that, that some of your interior walls over here, I think, are, are in, maybe they're not. Eh, forget it. Who cares? Um, yeah, I think I would have made this out of a wall and then put openings in it. you got to learn to use walls and openings, and that, that, that way you get your framing. Looks like you didn't use a lot of CAD, except for this laundry room. Maybe you got lazy and had to throw something together. But if, heck, it's faster just to put the stupid cabin in there and then to then to then to do what you did. It was a line. I mean, come on, ship G. So now and then you get your washer dryer in there. See, I mean, I, I added the cabinet in here already, and then I get the cabinet right here, right there. I mean, you know, put a washer dryer in there. See, here's my shelf and pole. You can see my shelf and pole. Mine's mine. It's very basic. See that? I got a pole and a shelf, and it's just a, a symbol that I stretched. What's, what's, what, what, how high is that? 80 Okay, 80 inches. That's good, yeah. Oh, you. Uh, yeah, oh, nice. Hey, wait, why, why don't I see my uh, you? Why don't I see that casing stretch out a little bit? Huh? You. Casing. Depth six. Why don't I see? Uh, why don't I see it extend? Oh, is that the uh, casing on the? In oh, that's interior. 
Oh, that's why. Yeah, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, there it is. You got your interior casing. Oh, that's funny. Check that out. Check that out, man. What's going on there? Oh. I made it six inches. <laughs> you. Isn't that weird? Doesn't have a top to it, casing. Uh, interior. Uh, depth. I don't know. One. It's like your lintel. Yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting, huh? See, you're, you're uh, hmm. See, I made it too thick. Check that out, I think. Yeah, it, it probably should be you. Uh, I forget it. You, you know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just about to end this. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yep, I like what you do with your cabinet. That's something I'm learning to do. And that is this this stop top. Forget it. I did a video on that. Yeah, see, this wall. Did you want uh, siding on the inside of this wall? Maybe you did. I don't know. One more time, look at the framing. All, all J. All J. See, I think, you, I think you're missing some framing in there. I think it's, uh, yeah. Uh, if you'd made that a wall in there where, I, where, where you use the piece solids and your soffit, it, it'd be a lot better. And, and now ain't that weird. Where, where's your rafters on this roof plane? Is that a bug or is that something you messed up? I have a feeling it's a bug. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, shift F's. Oh, fuck it. Uh, quick, quick fix. Let me just see. Let me see what you did on this thing. That's not bad. You framing twenty-four inches on center rafters, rafters, rafters. Yeah, cancel. Eight to copy it. I mean, I don't see any rafters over there. Do you? Once in a while, you get that bug on chief and uh. I'm going to end this in, in 15 seconds. Yeah, look, you, you got your framing right there on that roof there, but over here you don't have it. Why is that? I don't know. It's a bug in chief, I think. Unless I'm missing something. I don't know what that. I don't know what's going on right there. But there's something funny going on with your roof. You're not getting framing over that roof. That's the end. That's end of part three. Thanks, JPC, for the uh, chance to do this. Uh, I think we all learn a little little something from all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I never, never, you, high terrain intersected my building. I just don't. Why? Because I don't want to. I like it to be, I just, whatever. That's the end.